Time for an unpleasant blind guy, Conservative Bite. Each time, civilized people are attacked by the followers of Muhammad. Politicians, pundits, and others rush to the news outlets to tell us all that it's not all Muslims. That the support among the followers of Islam for terrorism only amounts to about 10% of those who practice the ideology of Islam. This claim is always made, and it's worth checking. A good way to do that would be to compare the reaction of Mohammedans to the November 2015 jihadi attacks in Paris and their reaction to the Charlie Hebdo cartoons. After the Paris attacks, six Muslim students at a technical institute in Varese, Italy, walked out of their classroom during the minute of silence the school held in homage to those who died in the Paris attacks. Many might dismiss this as a very small number. But in France, where the attacks took place, Some French newspapers reported that on Thursday, the minute of silence that was called by the president in a day of national mourning, teachers reported to the press that some of their Muslim students refused to accept or refused to observe that moment of silence. Therefore, there is still a big problem in society, by no means the majority. But is it only a small minority? In Chechnya, 800,000 Muslims protested the Mohammed cartoons with similar events held in Iran and elsewhere. In Pakistan alone, the number reached 10,000 protesting the Charlie Hebdo cartoons. In Australia, 1,000 Muslims rallied against the Charlie Hebdo cartoons. In Kyrgyzstan, 1,000 Muslims rallied, saying, I am not Charlie, I love my prophet. Now let's contrast those numbers. In 2005, a group called the Free Muslims Coalition held a Free Muslims March Against Terror that drew about 25 people. In July of 2015, a rally in Ireland against the Islamic State got about 50 people. In June of 2013, at a progressive Muslim rally in Toronto, only about 25 people showed up. Now you might be saying, well Dave, these are countries where followers of Muhammad who want to protest acts of terror might be afraid for their safety in their communities. All right, let's try a country where people do have gun rights. In August of 2013, there were only about 25 people at a rally against misperceptions that Islam was violent. That was held in Boston. Some still might be saying, well, that was a city in the northeastern United States. We know they're kind of strict on gun rights. Okay. In October 2014, a Houston, Texas rally against the Islamic State got 10 people. People, it's accepted wisdom that actions speak louder than words. In France, which has a population of about 5 million Muslims, only about 30 attended the rally against the Paris Jihad attacks. If it is only about 10% of the followers of Islam who support terror, why will not the other 90% even show up for rallies against Islamic terror? If, as the Council on American-Islamic Relations says, these attacks are a distortion of Islam, then that means that they are an insult to Islam. That means that they are an insult to the Prophet Muhammad. So why are our streets not clogged with Muslim protesters demanding action from their governments to help free their countries from terror? Knowing the numbers, we can only come to one conclusion. It is because, instead of only about 10% of Islamists supporting terror, only about 10% or less oppose terror. If this were not the case, the numbers at the anti-terror rallies would be massive. People, the cause of Islamic terror is not the fact that other countries are in the Middle East drilling oil they were invited in. It's not the fact that Muslims feel marginalized in civilized countries. It's because Islam inspires terror. The numbers show it. The actions of the followers of Muhammad prove it. People, while there is still time to save civilization, We must act in a non-violent way to remove the followers of Islam from all positions where they could do non-Muslims harm. They must assimilate to their host countries or they must find somewhere else to live. 
Like all true Americans, I have a natural revulsion towards singling out a group of people for different treatment. But as the numbers show, most Islamists support singling out everyone else for different treatment. And that treatment is not good. Civilization can save itself if we will just act. This has been an Unpleasant Blind Guy Conservative Fight Club.